Hey there, this is Chris and I do layman tech reviews on gadgets, especially cameras and its accessories. For today, I want to talk about a solution that people in a tropical country or places where the humidity is very high would um, a solution to on how to store their cameras. I, um, I suppose the most easiest way is to store your camera in the dry cabinet that would keep humidity low, that will protect your camera sensors, your lens from getting moles or fungus. I live in a country, Singapore, where the humidity is extremely high. Look at that. This is a sensor, humidity sensor. So it's actually in the morning, it's already 30 degrees Celsius and humidity is at 77%, which is very high. I think the recommended humidity level to store cameras would be around 45 to 55, something like that. All right, so for today, I just want to talk about a cheaper alternative or a solution. Let's, and I'm just going to experiment with this. So it's my first time finding out together with all of you. So the solution is pretty simple. Let me just show it to you. It's to use a, a Ziploc bag. Right, from your grocery store or from your hardware store like IKEA. So Ziploc bag and I'm going to do an experiment where I'm going to put this sensor into the Ziploc bag and see and measure what's the humidity level if I were to store a camera in this airtight Ziploc bag and if it is still higher than 55% I'm going to try using a dry silic uh, a silica gel this is the dry and dry silica gel. This is a branded one, I think. Um, so let's check it out. All right, first experiment with a sensor, 70, 77%. And a camera, I'm gonna put it in the Ziploc bag. I'm gonna seal the Ziploc, seal the Ziploc bag tight. And then, uh, I got a transparent Ziploc bag because I just I want to be able to see through the Ziploc bag to see what the humidity level is. So let's check it out. I'm just gonna put the camera in there. See that? 77, it just jumped to 80%. It's crazy hot today. I'm just gonna put it inside here. I'm gonna lock the back. I'm just going to squeeze some of the air out. Okay. And then squeeze the air out. And then I'm going to, I'm going to totally lock the back now. All right. There's a lot of air left. I'm just going to squeeze the air out. Only have a vacuum that can suck the air out. Never mind, I just use my hands. Okay, there you go. So, 76%. Let's check out in an hour's time, see how much, how much um, humidity once this bag uh, settles in for about an hour. And if it doesn't go, and if it stays below 55, then I think it's safe to say that keeping your camera gear in the Ziploc bag is a simple solution, cheap, virtually free type solution. Uh, if not, I'll probably use the dry and dry silica gel and see how it works. Talk to you later. All right, I waited long enough. So, 76%. It's not gonna go any lower. Humidity level is very high, even in this airtight bag. So putting this dry and dry in there, and we'll check it out in a few hours time. Just put this inside here. Boom. All right, let's check it out later. All right, quick update. 10 minutes, 10 minutes since I've put in the silica gel. And the reading is now, I'm trying to put the sensor in position. The reading now is amazingly 60%. You see? 
60. All right, that's just 10 minutes. I'm just gonna leave it here for the next two hours and let's check it out again. Okay, after three hours, the experiment is a success. 53%. That's great. So this solution does work. Just put the camera in the bag, seal it, and put a dry dry silica gel. And within three hours, it would be at optimal humidity level of 45 to 55%. Next test, I'm going to take out the camera, unseal the bag, take out the camera, put the, put the camera back in, and seal it back in. See if the silica gel will still work. Check it out later. All right, so I did unseal the bag, take the camera out, put the camera back in, seal the bag again, and after an hour, I can see that the reading still shows 52%, which means the silica gel can really last. So I hope that experiment was fruitful and valuable to you. Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe. Till then, take care and God bless. All right, it's been a week and yep. So I have the camera in the Ziploc bag with the dry and dry silica gel and um, hope you guys can see this. Can you see? I'll read out for you. The humidity is back at 75%. So while it has worked for the first few days, if you leave it for a longer period, humidity will still seep into the Ziploc bag somehow. And yeah, probably it's a cheap solution, but probably not good for long term. All right, today take care and God bless.